my name is Julia. I will be doing a monologue from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Scene, Act 1, Scene 1. How happy some, or others, some can be. Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that, Demetrius thinks not so. He would not know it all, but he do know. And as he airs, doting on Hermia's eyes, so I, admiring of his qualities, thinks base and vile, holding no quantity. Love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Nor hath love's mind of any judgment taste, wings, no eyes, figure unheedy haste. For ere Demetrius looked upon Hermia's eye, and hailed down oaths that he was only mine. And when this hail, some heat from, her, from Hermia felt, so she dissolved, and showers of oaths did melt. I will tell him of fair Hermia's flight, then to the wood will he tomorrow night pursue her, and for, the, his, for this intelligence, if I have thanks, it is to a dear, ex, it is a dear expense. Oh yeah, for here in mean I to enrich my pain, to have a sight thither and back again. Thank you. Oh. My name is Fox Ashford, and I'll be performing a monologue from Romeo and Juliet. I shall be Romeo. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, for sun, kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou her maid far more fair than she, be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vessel livery is but sick and green. Number fools do wear, cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, oh, that she knew she were. She speaks and she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold, tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heavens, having some business to entreat her eyes, to the twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, day in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame the stars. As daylight doth a lamp, her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. Oh. How 
been sworn by a soldier, bidding me depend upon thy stars, thy fortune, and thy strength. And does thou not fall over to my fours? Thou wears a lion's hawk, doth it shame, and hang a casket on those recreant lips. Thank you.
God, forgive us all, look after her, remove her from all the me means of annoyance, and still eyes upon her. So good night, so good night. My mind she has made to amaze my sight. I think I not speak. Good night, good doctor.